Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In previous video, we have solved various uh, problems of uh, orthographics view in first angle projection system. In this video, we will solve this problem. We will draw the orthographics view of this problem in third angle projection system, isn't it? So if you haven't watched my video uh, the difference between first angle versus third angle then you can click on this i button uh, and uh, see that video. So we will follow our general procedure that we have established. So first task is we will identify the relative position of a front view, top view and side view in third angle projection system, isn't it? So let's say this is my object. So in third angle projection system, we assume that our object is in third angle instead of first angle, isn't it? So in third angle projection system, what would be the relative position of a front view and side view and top view? So let's say this is my XY line. My front view will lie below my XY line. So let's say this is my front view. My top view will lie above my reference line x y and my side view would be left hand side view would be drawn on the left side of the front view and right hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view let's say this is my object observer is observing from this side right so for a side view we have to view from this side so this is nothing but left hand side view so left hand side view should be drawn on the left side of the front view so this is my front view this is my right side and this is my left side so left hand side view should be drawn on the left side of the front view so this is my relative position of my front view side view and top view in third angle projection system isn't it so i have drawn my reference line over here x y line so for a front view i should start my drawing from this side only then and then i can draw my left hand side view over here and top view over here so next step is we have to identify the maximum dimension of the object l b and h so maximum dimension length is nothing but uh, horizontal dimension in front view so let's say this is 34 plus 34 so this would be 68 length would be 68 height would be the maximum distance in uh, maximum vertical distance in front view is so this is my the bottom edge so from bottom edge to the top surface this would be 42 so h would be my 42 and similar way horizontal dimension in a side view is my width so breadth is equals to again 34 plus 34 68 so these are the dimension of the object now in a front view which two dimension are visible so in a front view length and height these two are visible so first of all let's draw the uh, light rectangle using having the dimension 68 by 42 so let's start So this is my light right angle. So let us start from any one of the corner point. So this corner point indicates this corner point, right? So this would be total 18. So this face indicates the uh, perpendicular faces perpendicular to the direction of observer. So first of all, let us draw this uh, rectangle having the dimension 
68 by 15 so this edge would be at at a distance of 15 millimeter height so let's mark one point over here Similar way, let's draw these two vertical edges and then mark a point at a distance of 18 millimeter on from both the side. Now this is the doubt tail, isn't it? So from this point to this point, the distance is 12 millimeter. On both the side, from this corner point to this corner point, the distance is 12 millimeter. And this height is nothing but 9 millimeter. So let's mark that point over here. First of all, let's draw one light line at a distance of 9 millimeter. Now let's mark a point at a 12 millimeter. Let's join this corner point with this. So we will get this inclined edge of doubt tail. Also let's join this using dark line. So this is my a rectangle is done. Now when we see from this side, these two edges are nothing but an inclined edge, which is visible in a front view. We can see over here the inclination, right? So to to find this two corner point, this whole object is symmetric about this two line of symmetry, these two axes. So this is one of the line of symmetry, right? Which is indicated by center line, and here also. This is another line of symmetry. That means this object is symmetric about both these axes, isn't it? Now to find this corner point, we have to look into this dimension. This total dimension is nothing but 24 plus 24, 48, isn't it? So out of this, we we have a total uh, length is equals to 64, uh, 68. So out of 68, this length is 48. So we have to subtract 68 from 48. So 68 minus 48. So that would be around 20. And 20 will be on divided on both the side. So this corner point is at a distance of 10 millimeter from that corner point and 10 millimeter from on, on left hand side corner point. So this left hand side corner point is nothing but this. So from this corner point, we have to find that 10 millimeter over here, 10 millimeter over here, then join it with this. Uh, uh, this corner point, right? So let's mark that point over here. Now join it using the visible line. So this is my object again the hidden part is still remaining so this part is hidden right this slot is not visible in a front view when we see from this side so it will be represented as a straight uh, hidden line right and uh, its depth is given 15 millimeter from the top surface so 15 millimeter from the top surface we have to draw this uh, using hidden line and it has throughout this uh, inclined edge uh, this slot is throughout this inclined edge. So let's first identify the line at a distance of 15.
so this is my that uh, hidden line right so most of the part we have covered uh, dimensioning we will do uh, we will do while we complete the uh, last of while we complete the left hand side view of this object right so i hope you understand the concept how i have drawn the front view in a third angle projection system right uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video